fuck. I made a big mistake. I should not, I should not have cut that. I should not have cut it. So that means I'm just gonna As always, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. Now I've got a task ahead of me, which is to transform these two into one and use every bit of it. Um, I've been trying to think this out. <laughs> um, it's going to be challenging. Um, I'll admit that now. I think I'm going to start with the easy bit, which is, let me first introduce you to the tops. So the white top is what I want to be wearing. The focus of this new top is going to be this top. Um, Cause I just like the white and the black trim. I think that just gives it a little bit more of, I don't know, luxury it's speaking to me rather than this one. I like the fact that this has this kind of, um, it's got some beading on it, which is gorgeous but it just isn't doing either one of these any justice just as they are. So I want to transform it. So there's nothing to be done on this. So I won't be cutting anything from this at all. No, but it's, it's okay. But I will be cutting into this now. This sleeve, oh, it's gorgeous actually. It's um, it's very fragile though. Let me just show you. You can see there's there's lots of open space there. So I am going to have to cut the armhole, the edge of the armhole here, and put it onto this. That be quite interesting, and then. I'm going to be using this detail somewhere in the neckline. I don't think I'll be able to get all of it into the, into the neckline on the white one. I don't think so. Um, we shall see though. But I also want to lengthen it, but they're both the same. Let me just check. They're both the same length. Almost. So it's how... <sighs> So I can make this a bit longer, which will work. So we're gonna to have to just try and error. Try and error, I think, it's going to be with this project. Oh, by the way, do you like my dress? Oh, this dress is about, I did it about four projects ago. And um, yeah, I used everything, including this, Floret here, detailing. This was the scraps. This is what would have gone to <laughs> landfill, if you like. And I've used everything. So I produced a detailed um, to a t-shirt that was part of this long top. And the rest of the body of the top became the sleeves, a little fringe detail here. And this, I used everything, which is good, I think. That's probably one of my few pro projects where I have actually used anything. And I'll get back to uh, the project. So let's start cutting first. So the first thing I'm going to have to cut, well, I'm deciding to cut, is going to remove the sleeves. And am I going to sew this by machine or by hand? Right, um, we shall see. Let me just pin it and baste it in place. Let me just show you how this will look gorgeous. You see already, it just highlights the detail on this lace detail, this lace sleeve. It'll be really nice. So let's do that first. So I put the white top to one side. 
I'm here to inspire, motivate, and share ideas for refashioning clothing. If you are into that sort of thing, consider subscribing. And if you haven't already subscribed, then please do so, because it will really help my channel out. Not only that, on my channel in order to help you complete your project there's lots and lots of sewing techniques and i always put those links below the video so if you are interested in refashioning clothing then it's worthwhile subscribing to my channel let's get back to the video okay so let's see the sleeve detail i won't be able to unpick that no it's definitely have to be cut Okay. The sleeves are cut away. Here they are. I put a pin in each to remind me that this is the back of the sleeve. And it's just a case of then this oh that looks gorgeous already. That contrast. So it's just above the shoulder seam. So it's actually sitting on the shoulder. Get some pins. I made a big mistake. I should not, I should not have cut that. I should not have cut it. So that means I'm just gonna have to do a whip stitch to keep that in place. I should not have cut it because it's a good fit. Oh well, not to worry. It's done now. So that's, those are in place. It's to use the rest of this. Yeah. So I can use it upside down on here. Right, okay, so I'm going to cut this away, this lovely beading and lace section. So we're left with this. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, I'm gonna trim those away, but not just yet. Let me just put it onto the top. <gasps> yes. That looks gorgeous. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that should, that should work. I'm actually going to pin that in place now, I think, and then I'm based. I should be. Yeah, that was really nice. So I'm happy with that. Alright, so I'm happy with what's happening here. And this is what is left of the black. I, I want to use the rest of this, but it's how. Okay, let's just slide this into here. Ooh. That's nice. I don't want it to be a dress, but I do want it to be quite a long top. That's interesting. I like all these curved shapes that's happening. Yeah, I don't know whether that's going to be too much, but saying that, garments of the future are going to have a new aesthetic to them. 
looks okay actually. Because you've got the curve happening here, the curves happening in the lace detail. Let's see what the back looks like. And a slight curve for the back neckline. Okay, right, I'm going to work with this, see what happens. But first of all, I think I need to focus on attaching this detail first and then slipping that on means trying it on and see how that goes. I'll show you. I'll turn around. Oh, that is gorgeous. So gorgeous. Oh. Oh. That is gorgeous. Yes, I love it. It's a pity there wasn't more of this. I could add it into the back, isn't it? Oh. That is gorgeous. The sleeves, it's a slight drop shoulder sleeve. I think it's more because it probably isn't, it's just that it's a bit bigger on me than perhaps somebody who had a bit more broad shoulders. But I'm, 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 I'm okay with that. You, you could bring it a bit forward to, this is where my shoulder ends, um, but you possibly may be able to see the seam through this section here and I don't want that to be the case and this is what I was talking about before about the new aesthetic to clothing this is it this is an example of a new aesthetic to clothing that we need to consider when we are refashioning clothing and it's still beautiful it is absolutely gorgeous yeah love it and and, and I'm going to hand sew this yeah, I'm going, to, I'm, going to, I'm, going to, I'm going to answer all of it, actually. So you'll probably hear from me tomorrow. <laughs> um, it's getting a bit dark now. Not because it's really getting late in the evening, but because um, it's the weather. It's, and because it is getting a bit late in the evening as well. So, oh, let me just turn around so you can see the sleeves. That is gorgeous. Now the bottom section, the black, we just get that. Right, because I said I want to use all of it, don't I? Ah. Let me just step into this. Do excuse me. I'm going to be looking into a mirror here. Ooh. No, no, <laughs> no. No, it's sometimes you've got to know when to say no. And it's almost like well, it's not a mini on me, but now let's try the other way around. No, because you're hiding too much of the wine. Um, I mean, it is an option. It's definitely an option and then perhaps you could have you know you could play around with the back but no yes yeah for me that is let's do it sideways that's another option No, this is this just too much for me. Just turn around to the front again. Cool. That's nice. No, I'm going for this. Because I, I would half tuck this anyway and wear a black 
pants or black skirt. Yeah, and now I'll get the proportions that I'm looking for by wearing a separate. Yeah, then I'm trying to add this to this. It's not bad. It, it could work if you had a bit more time to play around, or it depends on what you are looking for as well. But no, this is nice. And the sleeves. I, like, I do like the fact that it's just off my shoulders. Okay, I'm not hand sewing. Let's get to it. I'm going to be hand sewing this into position. It's, it's so beautiful the way it's turned out, so I decided that's what the option I am going to go for. And it's more than likely I'll finish this off tomorrow. Hello, it's the following day and I've finished all my hand sewing. It's the following day because I needed time to sew this. Oh, it's amazing. And it's, it didn't take me too long, but I prefer to work in natural daylight. And in England at the moment, it's getting very dark very early. Um, so hence the reason it took me quite some time to hence the reason that I am kind of back in the video the following day anyway so I'm going to show you what this looks like the only concern that I have is this here can you see here I'm not, I don't think it's going to stay once on my body in position obviously my body's three-dimensional and this is flat at the moment so I'm hoping that it will if not I'm going to have to think of an idea across here of putting some kind of facing or doing a little bit more hand stitching and kind of drawing it together um, without it affecting the the lace so we, we will see we will see so I'm going to try it on now and let's see how it looks and how it fits so yeah that's what I'm going to do next Okay, I've spent about five minutes in this to see what's happening here. And um, it's not falling away from my body. Mm. And I, th I think it's okay. I think I'm, obviously I'm going to definitely wear it. I just think, um, see you guys look in the mirror here. It's, it isn't flopping away. I don't know, I've only had it on five minutes before I decided to fill this section from the last section just to see if it will fall away or if I feel uncomfortable. It doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. Um, but yes, but I love it, it's gorgeous. <gasps> it's so gorgeous. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. If anything, if you are concerned, and you're doing a similar project. I suppose you could always put a ribbon here as well. So you can always put some form of very stiff interfacing on here if it's causing an issue, or perhaps even a ribbon. So you've got a ribbon that down the the back. That's a good idea. But now I'm happy with the way it's turned out. Happy with the result. I am back. It has been five minutes since my last clip. Um, just because I wanted to kind of move a bit more in this and do a little bit of a dance routine to see if it moves and stays out of place and I'm not happy with it but as you can see it's fine so I've been wearing it for about 10 minutes and I'm okay with that as you can see I'm wearing my choker and you know I like to wear chokers so I'm just helping you with the you know illusion of seeing it with a choker or a ribbon that could perhaps tie at the back just to give you some idea of what you can go for so there's a couple of options so yeah I really do like that it's gorgeous it's so gorgeous if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and please do share and do save the video in case you're not ready to make it just yet um, you know where to go and retrieve this video in order to watch it again hopefully <laughs> do remember to subscribe and also you can join my channel there's memberships 
Next to the subscribe button is a join button and there are two levels. The first level is the price of a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. A second level is the price of a cup of tea or a cup of coffee with a biscuit or with a donut or your favourite treat. Um, so it really would help the channel and it's a good idea to join those because there are more perks you get on the membership than what I um, give out on my YouTube channel as for free. So if you do enjoy the videos and my videos are helping then please do think about becoming a member.